report. Well, you always laugh at me when I say lots I going on. <laughs> lots going on. It's a lot's going on today. We got McCarthy and Gates cussing each other out, oh, and Hunter Lord. Biden is under indictment. I wish they can really just be real with. I wish I, they you know what? Just, I want them to get man, in a fist fight. I wish you would. You can kiss my eye. I, you threatening me? Yeah, they. Just, I don't got to do nothing. These guys are ridiculous. Oh God, they're so stupid. You're trying to tell me if I don't do what you said on that oh. checklist, you're going to sit me down? Grown men. Go ahead. Grown men fighting. My prayer has been improve or remove mm -hmm. these knuckleheads. Any knucklehead that's in You crack me up. You always the say Senate, the same thing. My prayer is It's always improve. that because I, I say, and for those of you who may never have heard me say this, improve or remove it's like it's giving people an opportunity to change because mm -hmm. that's fair they may learn some things they may learn to not be bad do better marjorie taylor green may come back and say i had an aha moment i'm crazy i'm gonna do better you guys improve mm -hmm. or remove be mm -hmm. be gone that's somebody else who has more sense more compa compassion whatever is needed in that job mm -hmm. that can do the job Take the place. Well, the main person. Let's see. Emerald saying, "Hey, ladies, happy hey, Friday. Hey. Friday is it Friday? No, no. Emerald, you on the wrong day. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. We girl. rushing it though. Rushing I know. I feel like in. it's Friday too. Um, Hunter Biden always been in the news for the last five six years. Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden indicted by special counsel on felony gun charges. <sighs> They've been trying to go after Hunter Biden forever. Every little thing they can get. Next, next they'll mm -hmm. get after they get the the Ukraine incident, the gun violence. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go to him for child support. Lack, lack of. That's what support. I want them to go after him for. They keep talking about this other stuff. Oh, by the way, you're not paying for your child. What about the child that you don't you dismiss? Yes. President Joe Biden's son Hunter Biden has been indicted by Special Counsel David Weiss on felony gun charges. The charges bring renewed legal pressure on the younger Biden after a plea agreement he struck with prosecutors imploded in recent months. The younger Biden has been charged. I keep saying the younger Biden. You notice that shade? I think that's shade. Because every time you say the younger Biden, I think of Joe Biden being old. Oh. That's shade. The media is shady. They don't have they? to say the younger Biden. They're shady. I guess they really want to differentiate. They could just say Hunter. Them. You don't have to keep saying the younger Biden. That's true. That's true. The younger Biden, and not the older one, <laughs> has been charged with two counts related to false statements in purchasing the firearm at a third count of illegally obtaining a firearm while addicted to drugs. Uh -huh. The funny thing about it, you can't do that. Right. The funny thing that I find about this with the Republicans, because I told you we don't belong to either party. Both parties are ridiculous, if you ask me. They're so big on how he purchased his firearm, but they don't care about how everybody else purchased theirs. Or what they're so big on people having a firearm that it's people all over that's it's drug Biden. addicts and everything that have firearms. Biden, son. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why people are mad at um people of uh, the com the things that's coming at Trump. Why? What what has he done that no oh, one else yeah. has done? Yeah, nobody cares. The two counts of making false statements carry sentences of up to 10 years and five years, respectively, while the possession charge carries a sentence of up to 10 years. He's he, let, Can everybody just go ahead and say it doesn't matter? He's been some jail time. Even if he does get um, found guilty, his father can pardon him. Oh, that's true. It doesn't matter. But that's if he wins. Well, that you would be trying to make sure he Everybody wins. Everybody waiting to be pardoned. Depending any, on what yeah, any, Everybody got all these pardons. All these guys are sitting in prison hey, waiting. Did Trump win? Pardon me. <laughs> but that deal fell apart during a court hearing in July after U.S. Judge Mary Ellen Norica, whatever her name is, expressed concern over the structure of the agreement. And she was right. Even though she was a um, a Trump judge, mm -hmm. she was right. They came in there all willy nilly with this with this um um what is it for him to what is it 
oh, deal. deal. And they didn't really know the deal. They didn't have it structured right. Mm-hmm. If we find out anything else, is he still out? They was like, humming, 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 humming. Mm-hmm. Okay. She said, go back to the drawing board. Just do, redo when you it. come back with a real deal, then we'll talk. Okay. Makes um, sense. And then, of course, he pleaded guilty when he thought he was going to have the deal. Right. Then when he found out he wasn't going to have the deal, it. he said not guilty. I always love when people plead guilty when they have a deal. Mm-hmm. And then when the deal is off the table, mm-hmm. they plead not guilty. Mm-hmm. So were you guilty you or not guilty? guilty or not guilty, whether deal or no deal has been made. So for you to plead guilty to a deal means mm-hmm. you're guilty. Yeah, you're guilty to all the way from the beginning. There's only certain circumstances where I can see somebody pleading guilty maybe, to something maybe. they didn't do. If they feel like they don't have the money or the wherewithal or, to get out of it. Or to your point, they're associated with it. They just right. didn't do it. Right. So they'll go, okay, I, I was there. I drove the car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, he's guilty. Okay. I feel like, allegedly. Weeks later, on August 11th, Attorney General Merrick Garland elevated whites. Remember, we talked about that. Because uh, the Republicans, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and all of them fought. They wanted so bad. Mm-hmm. Why? we Somebody needs to go after Hunter. So the attorney general said, all right, I'll put Weiss on him. He'll get on the case. And if he finds anything, he'll bring it to everybody. Okay. Well, he's found something. And he's brought it to everybody. And this is where we are right now. Um, he was originally appointed then by President Donald Trump to special counsel, granting him broader authority to press charges against Hunter Biden in any district in the country. Prosecutors subsequently informed the court that a new round of negotiations had been reached. The attorneys for Hunter Biden accused White's office of reneging on their agreement. No, they're doing what the judge said. If somebody comes back and finds something else, the deal's off the table. Well, Hunter's upset. (laughs) He's turned red in the face. You know what he's done? What? He's hired his own attorneys and he's suing a lot of the Republicans for coming after him. He's tired of being a hit, picked, a, on. picked on. Pick, picking on me. And Why he's hired, everybody always he's hired attorneys to go after a lot of these Republicans who are coming after Does him. Does he even have the money to do that? He didn't, well, he got money from Ukraine, allegedly. Oh. <laughs> he's a millionaire, so he got money. <laughs> But the thing oh, is, gosh, what are we down. doing here? No, with all of them. What are we doing here? I don't so know. are the Republicans now going to sue him because he's suing them? <laughs> is this just all the whole next, what, how many years? Next few years. Everybody's suing each other? Uh-huh. This is a joke. Quit coming at me. I'm going to sue you. Huh? Trump and Republicans. It's a tit for tat. You guys put that nut job in the White House. (laughs) You should have known when you put comb over in the White House, Mm -hmm. it was going to turn into a reality show. It was reality TV like his shows that he has. This is now, this is now a, uh, it's a tit for tat. It's a joke. It's a reality show. It's a reality show. My mother's eating it up. Ma, ma. Do me a favor and bring me a bottle of water. Okay, My mother's fine. eating it up. This is reality show for her. It's always yeah, yeah. been since Everybody day is. one that come on. This has been Guess what's happened today in the... What we call them, the Mar-a-Lago uh, crime, crime family. family. <laughs> well, today's episode of the Mar-a-Lago crime family. It's like uh, those soap operas that used to come on at nighttime. McCarthy and Gats yelled at each other today in a meeting. And Gats told him, move the effing spending bill. <laughs> well, you going to what? what you he gonna cussed do to them me? out. What you going to do to me? He cussed them out. You, you talking to me? What you saying? What, what you going to do to me if I don't do what? House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's frustration is mounting over the Republican infighting. And you want to know why Romney want to get out of this. This man is a Mormon. <laughs> My wife grasped her pearls with what's going on in the house. He said, get me the effing deal right there on the floor in front of all of us. Christians. About my father's I'm so tired of these, but they don't. 
But but Whoopi made a good point. She said it wasn't so much comb over since since comb over got in. In her opinion, she felt people had already felt that, you know, in the early days, especially with Bush and all of that. A lot of people don't trust the country. They don't care about um, what you're saying, Constitution. They're even getting on there like reality TV show. Yeah. Saying, Effing, you going to what me? Yeah. What you going to do? So what? they cussing at each other. Mm-hmm. They going back and forth with each other. Yep. McCarthy's getting mad because he had dinner with Trump the other night. And um, Trump told and Marjorie Taylor Greene. And you know they pretty much talked about indicting um, Biden. So he comes back and says, well, we said, yeah, the other day. Go ahead and push, go the, ahead and push um, the... It would have no vote from the floor, nothing. We want to uh, put an investigation on Biden. And now Gats is up cussing him out. And he's like, I'm done with you guys. I, I'm doing what you... You're holding this, over, you're holding this office over my, over my head. You're, I have to do laps around you in order for me, you not to get rid of me. And I'm sick of it. Mm-hmm. He's sick of it. He reminds me of when we was younger. I had our, one of our cousins. He was blackmailing him. <laughs> he was young and he and we was little. And he took a sip of wine or something. And I said, I'm going to tell. Oh, I'm going to tell. And he was like, no, don't, don't tell, tell. Don't tell. Don't tell which one we do. I, I do said, anything. well, then, do I said, you got to be my servant for the whole day. Oh, he did. And you got to do whatever I say. Everything and so I good. had him bring me something to drink yeah. or bring me something to eat Everything. or whatever. Cleaning this. Do this. Pick this up mm-hmm. and pick that up. And, and, and any, any resistance, you'll go, I'm going to tell mom. You, if you if tell you, your mom. I'm going to tell your mom. And so then his, his little, little sister she started doing stuff I told her to do, and she didn't even have to. So I was, I had both of them doing In stuff. The palm of her hand. Then one time, one too many. This is McCarthy right now. I told him to do something. He said, "That's it. I'm, tired. I'm done. I'm tired. I can't do this. Anymore. I'm not your servant no more." And he started crying, and his mom was like, "What's wrong?" He said, "She blackmailing me." <laughs> And then uh, uh, my aunt said, well, whatever it is, you've already suffered enough I for know. it. <laughs> <laughs> was so and then right. I told his little sister, what was you in for? You didn't even do that anything. That was her brother. She wanted to be with her brother. I thought that was so funny. Even take the hit with it. <laughs> but he didn't even get in trouble. He had suffered so much <laughs> under my regime. I know. <laughs> That's McCarthy. That's ruler. Yeah, I already had dinner with this bozo who I don't like. Yeah, and he had to sit with Mar- Marjorie. Yeah, and and Trump. Yeah, at the Mar-a-Lago crime family home. Right. <laughs> He's already God. feeling like you guys. I'm out of here. You you're doing too much. Up. I think that was the, the the icing on the cake for him. Then I show up, and then this big giant Osmond head is cussing me out. I know, giving ultimatums like if you don't do this, pass the F and deal. This is going to happen if you don't do this. So McCartney was probably He's like, done with I'm it. tired. So he had a breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> today. <laughs> in the Mar-a-Lago crime family. <laughs> Thanks, Emerald, for giving us that. Yeah. That's so that name. was, a, oh, I didn't forget. The rest of the episode of the Mar-a-Lago crime family. To, um, another thing that happened in the Mar-a-Lago crime. That, I love calling them the Mar-a-Lago uh, mm-hmm. crime family. Oh, yeah. Um, what's the one that went after um, Marjorie Taylor Greene? When they cussed each other out, her and the other lady. The lady. She called her oh, a bee. she had dark hair. She called her a bee, and then the other one called her a bee. Yeah. What's her name? Ma, you remember her name? Uh, the one that fought with Marjorie the Taylor Greene. Let me see. They were fussing Marjorie with each other. Taylor Green calls B. She worked there, but I can't think of it. Barbara, Bar- Barbara, Barbara. Bobert. Bobert. What's the first name? Is it Elizabeth or um, something? Um... Bobert calls Bobert a little b. Yeah, they Lauren Bobert. Lauren, that's it. Lauren. Well, the latest in the Mar uh, the Mar a Lago crime family um, sitcom is Bobert. Remember, she's a Christian. She's a really, really big time Christian. Okay. Remember, she got kicked out of a play <laughs> for what? Now you didn't see that. She was in the audience. My mother gave me all the news, and she didn't give me this news. She was in the audience? Um, Let me see or here. Or in the play. Lauren Barber escorted out of Beetlejuice musical in Denver um, after causing a disturbance. What did she do? This says here, um, her and her boyfriend or whoever it was, 
It says the incident report shared with Denver Post. Officials in Denver wrote that the two patrons were asked to leave the city-owned theater during a performance of the Broadway show. They previously were issued a warning during the intermission regarding behavior that prompted three complaints from other theater goers, the report said. Mm -hmm. The report does not name Bobert as one of the Patreons identified but her campaign office, um, I guess, said she was. The incident report states that after receiving the intermission warning, about five minutes into the second act, security officials received another complaint about her being loud. And at the time, um, they were recording. Taking pictures or recording is not permitted in the show. The report quotes that they told me they would not leave. So they came and told them to stop recording and stop taking pictures. They have if you do, place. you have to leave. Right. And they said, we're not leaving. Then you're going to stop recording. I you told them that the they other. need to leave the theater and they did not. So they had to call the police in the middle of the show. She the did. middle of the show. And you stated before you started this talking entitlement. about this that she's a Christian. This entitlement. Most of your worst folks is Christian. And she, had, it, but is it doesn't that scream entitled? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how she is with Marjorie Taylor Greene. You don't tell me to leave. I'm going to stay if I'm not going anywhere. So they had to call the police. It's probably some little snot nosed kid who was doing his little job, an usher mm -hmm. or an old person. You know, it's always a real old person that's an usher. They do, they there to get another thin oh gig or a real young person, mm -hmm. and she blew them off. Get out! I'm not leaving. What is wrong with? And that? they had to call the police to get her out so of there. So that just shows us her, more of about her character. Yes, and lack of integrity. Yes. <sighs> So I thought that was funny. That was sad, though. Yeah. Getting kicked out of a theater. Yeah. And you are in the wrong. They tell you not to record. And you keep recording. Come on. And now. it was loud. That was an obvious. And they was talking during the show. Was she drunk, maybe? Oh, we, well, we know little Miss Christian couldn't have been drunk. No, no. She had probably said a little of wine. Thank you. Whatever. Well, Ma, you didn't tell this story either. Okay. Trump wins today. <laughs> 